I'm Lynn Shaw and as part of uh, City Moves Dance Live Festival in Aberdeen, uh, myself and the team have created a short piece of, of choreography dancing along the borderline which is basically to raise awareness of borderline personality disorder using dance and film and other art forms as the vehicle. Borderline personality disorder is um, it's when somebody's unable to regulate their emotions. So they're highly sensitive, um, quite impulsive, full of rage and anger. It causes a lot of chaotic behavior in, in someone's life. The experience of uh, crisis in people with borderline personality disorder is really complex. So you've got an intense emotional dysregulation, uh, you've got high degrees of impulsivity, and I guess that's, that's hard to get across with just using words like the word impulsive, the word overwhelmed, the word emotionally dysregulated. There is a lot of like neg negativity that can be displayed and not all representations through art will be positive. Some will be negative, but sometimes you need to see the negative to get to the positive. I've never seen mental health being expressed in dance before. I've seen it in films, I've seen it through art like portraits and things, but never through dance in the way that this has been today. They made me feel empathetic towards Lynn. They took me somewhere that isn't that's out of my norm. Um, and I felt like it was easy to connect to the people and the movement because they were moving and not necessarily just talking about it. You can almost connect with what somebody is going through and it is quite an emotive thing to watch uh, a piece of dance where somebody is expressing those feelings which sometimes words just don't cover. I think in um, healthcare, Stuff that uses the arts is generally seen as nonsense. It's like, well, it's not proper healthcare. That I guess what that needs is probably a culture shift, given that the arts aren't kind of commonplace in healthcare. It's something that I guess seems a bit seems a bit alien to just standard care. And I've worked in mental health for the, the last 12 years before I started my studies, and I think it has dwindled the, the number of resources that we have for people. We need the resources to go along with that, and nobody's a stranger to the idea that mental health services don't have the resources that they need at the moment. Everyone's aware of the, the value of kind of talking therapies. So I mean, we say all the time, it's good to talk, it's good to talk, it's good to talk. Um, and what you're doing when you're talking is expressing yourself. So I'd be saying it's just good to express yourself. So it is good to talk, it's also good to paint, it's good to dance, it's good to sing, it's good to do anything that gives you that kind of creative outlet. So it's good on an individual level because it allows an individual to release, to have that kind of catharsis, to release those emotions. But it's also a more accessible way of kind of communicating something and raising awareness as well. You're creating a, a kind of an emotional narrative or landscape that people with disorders, even everyday people who have those emotional kind of turmoils, can all kind of relate to. What resonated most with me was seeing the movement and seeing the movement in the film and how Lynn used, how she really choreographed and directed that to help show some of the emotions and some of the feelings that she goes through. And it really made me think how powerful the arts can be and how important it is that we encourage lots of people to engage with them. If there's a place where there's an expression, you know, platform for art, then people may feel more comfortable in coming forth with their experiences. Lynn's dance really gives a bit of kind of character to those words and really shows the, I guess, the emotional impact of that. Rather than it just being words on paper that you can kind of take or leave, it's really something that can connect in people in a much more emotional way. I think it opens up more of a group dynamic and a community approach to things as well. So harnessing an environment that is a safe space that people can express themselves and feel that others understand they, they, they get it. I think sometimes people looking in can't see the pain and the turmoil and actually if you're then not 
confident and or you're not supportive enough to talk about it, then it has a wicked cycle. And that's why an event like this is really important. I found that quite emotional because even though it's a diagnosis of a particular thing with the title, borderline personality disorder, I, I recognise a lot of those themes in myself. It is a way of being able to get them out when maybe we're not able to, to tell somebody exactly I feel like this, we can show them. If you can see it, if you can feel it, then there's more relation to that than opposed to hearing it and not being able to understand or relate to the experience. We're all completely individual, we're all completely unique, um, so dance is fantastic but that's not going to work for everyone. So it would be great to essentially see like a selection box of arts that we can offer people in terms of expressing their emotions in terms of kind of communicating with each other and um, so whether it's music whether it's dance whether it's poetry or, or anything uh, it would be great, be great to see a lot more of that